Around a century of work went into the building of Lucas City Ramparts. Dating back to the mid 17th century, the 12 meter high walls are the emblem of the Tuscan city. There's even an association for their preservation. The walls have allowed our city, and especially the protected old town, to retain its historical character. Within Luca's city walls, everything is just as it was in the 15th century. Visitors who want to take a tour of the city walls can do so in style in a horse-drawn carriage, or rent a bike, or simply walk. The entire wall is four kilometers long. It's a meeting place for the elderly, for young people and for tourists. It's a public leisure park and it's free into the bargain. Six historical gates lead into the old town, which is a pedestrian zone. All the landmarks, such as the San Martino Cathedral, are within a stone's throw of one another. The views from the Torre Cunigi are spectacular. Textiles helped Luca prosper in the 14th century, and the local nobility resided in these palatial townhouses. A statue of Luca's most famous son, composer Giacomo Puccini, graces the Piazza Cittadella. Today, the house he was born in is a museum. Conductor Andrea Colombini comes here often. Luca resounds with his music. Puccini concerts take place all the time. We're deeply proud of the fact that he's one of the most popular opera composers in the world. Andrea Colombini and his ensemble are rehearsing arias from La Boheme in the Basilica San Giovanni. It hosts Puccini concerts every evening, 360 days a year. Just around the corner is another of Luca's main attractions, the Piazza dell'Anfiteatro. It was built by the Romans for gladiator games. In the Middle Ages, houses were built on its ruins, which still stand there today. As do the remains of the original Roman walls. But not everything revolves around history in Lucca. The Center for Contemporary Art hosts changing exhibitions, such as photographs by David LaChapelle, and 20th century painting, as well as works by the US photojournalist Robert Capa. Without today's culture, we wouldn't be able to preserve the past. We hope to attract visitors to Luca with contemporary art. We respect history, but we don't want to get stuck in it. The Via Filungo tends to get busy in the afternoons. Locals and tourists alike flock to the shops and cafes that line the streets of the old town. Luca is a place where you can have a lovely time without getting stressed out. You can discover all its nooks and crannies in your own time. It's a city you need to savor. When dusk falls, the Café San Colombano is well worth a visit. It serves up Tuscan specialties and is a perfect spot to people watch and relax against the grand backdrop of Luca's old town. <laughs> 